Hello and welcome. In this video, I will explain the functionality of the add-on module RF Foundation Pro. With RF Foundation Pro, you can design single foundations according to your code. This add-on module is also available for the Beam Analysis Program RSUB. I've prepared this model, which is a hall with reinforced concrete columns restrained in the A and D axes. I will be designing foundations for these columns. I have also already entered the loading and combinations for this example. To start, I'll open the add-on module. And in the first window of RF Foundation Pro, I'll select Eurocode in the National Annex of Germany for the design. Then I'll select the nodes for which I want to design the foundations. First, I will design all corner foundations. RF Foundation Pro allows you to design four different foundation types. In this example, I'll be using the bucket foundation with rough bucket sides. I'll define the allowable soil pressure as 250 kilonewtons per square meter. If the allowable soil pressure is unknown, you have various options here to determine the required design parameters according to Eurocode 7, as you can see in this dialog box. For the soil parameters, undrained conditions mean saturated soil. I want to define drained conditions, so that is drained soil. In the details dialog box, I want to clear the checkbox for the design of the uplift limit state because there are no lifting loads available in this example. I'm also selecting equal for all foundations so that the foundations I design later will have the same loading. The support moments don't need to be increased as our model has already been calculated according to second order analysis. And for the link layout in the bucket, I'm selecting links and closing the column. In module window 1.2, the, the geometry data is defined. First, I'll import the column dimensions from RFM. There's also an option to align the column eccentrically. The dimensions of the foundation plate in the bucket should be laid out by our Foundation Pro. The thickness of the plate is 30 centimeters at the beginning of the iteration, and this dimension should not be increased. I'll keep the default settings for all the other parameters in this box. Uh, for the material, I'm using Concrete C2530. For the concrete cover, I'm defining the minimum cover according to the standard. The exposure class should be XC2, and the foundation should be cast uh, against prepared ground. Then RF Foundation Pro will calculate the concrete covers automatically. In this example, I'm not using any mesh reinforcement, but only bar reinforcements. And the factors of the National Annex will remain unchanged. The loading will be defined in Module Window 1.4. First, I'll I'll assign the load combinations to the corresponding design situations. For the characteristic load combinations, I'll define the setting permanent and variable action. I have some additional loads acting on the foundations, which are 6.25 kilonewton per square meter from the self weight of the floor slab. And 10 kilonewton per square meter from the imposed load imp applied on the floor slab. Thank you. 
In addition, I'll define an earth covering with a height of 1 meter. Once the input is complete, I can calculate the foundation. In this module window, I can see the dimensions of the designed foundation, also showing in the graphics. And here I can see the individual designs. The maximum design ratio is available at the minimum embedment depth of the column, which is exactly 100%. And here the required reinforcement is listed. In the lower part of this module window, I can see how the relevant reinforcement has been determined. In this module window, I have the possibility to define a different reinforcement for the plate than the one proposed by the program. Also, the bucket reinforcement can be modified. Here you can see a rendering of the bucket reinforcement. Furthermore, RF Foundation Pro shows me a steel schedule and a concrete quantity list. In order to better check the design, it is also possible to see a visual of the foundation. Individual parts of the reinforcement can be turned on and off for viewing. The graphic can also be added to the printout report. RF Foundation Pro automatically creates reinforcement drawings for the foundation. Here you can see the individual sections. Next, I'll make a copy of the first foundation and select the foundations in rows 2 through 4. For this, I'll deselect the nodes below the gable columns it is assumed that strip foundations are arranged here. I can adjust the description for the new foundation. All the input data of the first foundation has been carried over automatically in the copy. Now all I need to do is calculate the second foundation. The determined dimensions differ from the first foundation only in the bucket height and the plate dimensions. The foundations can also be visualized together directly in RFM. Here you can see the different bucket heights. I will adjust them in the next step. For this, I want to import the calculated bucket dimensions and set the height to 1 meter for both foundations. First for the first foundation and then for the second foundation. Now I can calculate both foundations once again. The total height of the foundations and the embedment depths of the columns are now uniform. I 
can check this once again in the RFEM rendering. Here you can clearly see uniform foundation heights. In addition, I'll show you how you can adjust the plate reinforcement for the first foundation. For the bottom reinforcement in the X direction, I'll define diameter 10 S15. And in the Y direction, uh, diameter 10 millimeter and S20. The foundations must be recalculated because of these modifications. Now the foundation has been calculated with the new reinforcement. And with this reinforcement, um, all designs are also fulfilled. All module data of RF Foundation Pro can be printed to the printout report. Here you can see the input values for the design for Foundation 1. And here is the calculated geometry of Foundation 1, followed by reinforcement drawings. You also have the parts list and the individual designs. The input and results for Foundation 2 are shown in the same way. Here you can see the designs. The printout report can be printed directly, but it is also possible to export it as an RTF or PDF file. Thank you for watching. You can find more information about Jubal software at www.jubal.com.